Also tonight, we all know it's a no-go for companies like Lyft and Uber here in western New York. So who or what is slamming the brakes on ride sharing? A local lawmaker says he has the answer. Here's Sierra Johnson. It's an issue lawmakers just can't seem to figure out, ride sharing in New York State. Uber is marketed as a convenient, inexpensive and safe taxi ride. All you have to do is download the app and look for an Uber driver near you. But the service is currently banned outside of New York City and when the legislative session ended in June, lawmakers left the service as is. And a local lawmaker says he knows why. Special interest lobbyists that have a lot of influence in Albany uh, did put pressure on people to make that decision. It, whether it was a, a personal injury lawyer, uh, there are lobbyists that were not working on behalf of the citizens, and that's what we were sent to do. And that sentiment by Assemblyman Michael Kearns is shared by local personal injury lawyer Steve Boyd. Well, I agree with Mr. Kearns that, that there's too much power for the lobbyists in Albany. But Boyd says those interest groups didn't go to bat against Uber. They fought for tougher legislation on insurance, an issue several industries have raised, including the taxi industry. So, for example, a New York City cab has to carry $100,000 in insurance if somebody in the cab is injured because of that driver's negligence. The trial lawyer said the Uber driver should have the same thing. So that's not them saying keep Uber out. That's saying do what's fair, do what's smart for consumers. What really needs to happen is people need to come together and have common sense solutions to what's the safest way to have this new type of business in New York State. And Steve Boyd, that personal injury lawyer, says he believes ride sharing will make its way to western New York, and it's not a matter of if, but when. Live in the newsroom, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.